AR image tracking maps a 3D object to a real world 2D texture and could be great for a lot of things like a card game or even business cards. To get started make sure that your Unity AR Foundation scene is set up correctly with your XR Origin and AR Session. If you don't know how to simply watch the first video of this tutorial series. Then let's do a right click in the assets folder and create another folder that we want to call image tracking resources. Then let's do double click on that folder and now we have to import the texture that we want to use. And what I'm doing here is I'm simply doing a photo of, for example, my cup here. And this is actually not 100% optimal. Image tracking works with a lot of kind of textures, but it works best with, with actually 2D non-reflective surfaces. So while a cup logo works and for example something like a card uh, that i showed you the like yu gi -Oh card works the best tracking quality you will get is with qr codes but it's definitely an artistic decision if you want to actually go with them because a potential client or user would have to print out this code and might not have it at their home so then next up let's import the texture like the photo that i did and let's actually make sure that it's in jpeg format because this is ideally what you want to have with image tracking i think png is working as well but let's take jpeg so then next up let's make sure that we drag in the image into our unity project then we want to do a right click create another folder that we simply want to call uh, tracked image jpeg and drag our image in there then let's do a right click in our folder and let's actually go on create and then all the way down to XR and then a reference image library. Here we can simply click on add image and drag in our 2D texture. But let's first of all actually lock our view at the top right here and then open the folder, drag in the image. So then let's also specify the size. It is about four centimeters in width and the height is being set automatically. So then let's unlock the view again. Let's tap out of the folder and let's go to our XR origin. Here we can add an AR track image manager and simply drag in our reference image library. Now we still need a tracked image prefab that is going to be automatically spawned once the image is being detected. And for that I'm taking here my dog prefab parent, which is also in the tutorial files, which we used for some prior tutorial. But of course you could also simply do a right click in the hierarchy and simply add a primitive cube and uh, drag it into the assets as a prefab and then drag it into the tracked image prefab. The final thing to do is set the max number of moving images to one as it will allow the 3D model to track the 2D texture when it's being moved. And it sadly doesn't work in the XR simulation, so we would have to do a build to device and we can see that the dog is actually being tracked with the cup. But we can also see that if we move the phone a bit up and down, the tracking gets worse and this is because the cup isn't a fully 2D non-reflective surface. With the Yu-Gi-Oh card it's a bit better as you can see and if you want to have the best possible results then you would want to use something like a QR code or something that is actually printed on a normal piece of paper. But that's it for this tutorial so as always thanks a lot for watching and see you next time.